Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we are making the easiest, the quickest cheesecake on YouTube. Guys, I am telling you, not only is this so easy, it tastes like real cheesecake, and we're gonna make this baby in the microwave. So I've made this a ton of times when I have those like cravings at night, and guys, I'm not trying to like get all my dishes out and start baking, so I usually make it kind of like think mug cake, but we're making cheesecake. So you can use a little ramekin just like this, little one cup ramekin, and I have all my little ingredients here. So most of these things you already have at home, it's not only is it like super easy and quick, it's made with four ingredients. Literally four ingredients, guys. So we have our softened cream cheese in here. I already um, just kind of put it in the microwave for a few seconds just to soften it. I wanna show you the texture just so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, very, very easy to mix. Okay, we're going to throw everything right into our little bowl. We have our softened cream cheese, room temperature egg, when your ingredients are all room temperature, it just makes everything that much easier to like mix in together and just get well incorporated. So if you can just, you know, make sure that obviously you want your, your cream cheese softened, you want your egg room temperature and um, everything else is already pretty much there. So we have our vanilla extract and our powdered sweetener. All right, now we mix. Throw everything into one bowl. So it's also like mess free. I'm just gonna use my little whisk Go back and forth until everything is well incorporated. All right, so there, there are um, little lumps of cream cheese in there, so I'm gonna try using my frother just to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. If yours has little lumps of cream cheese, it's gonna be just fine because of course it's all gonna melt in the microwave, but I just want my batter to be super smooth, so I'm using my little frother. And I'll leave it linked down in the description below. These frothers are amazing like to make Dalgona, to like whip up drinks, things like that. It's just like super convenient. Like you don't have to put them into a blender, you know? Guys, tell me that this is not the easiest cheesecake recipe you've ever seen. If there's one easier, let me know because I've never seen it. All right guys, so with the little frother, it definitely made the batter super smooth. Um, without it, I would have had little pieces of cream cheese, which again would have been just fine, but I just feel more comfortable with it being completely smooth. Okay, so I have some avocado oil. I'm just gonna spray my ramekin. Okay, now let's pour in our cheesecake batter. All right guys, so this is going in for 90 seconds and I cannot wait to show you the texture of this cheesecake. All right, let's check it out. Ooh, it's a little hot. Okay, so this is our cheesecake. Now we have to let it set in the fridge. So that's the only hard part about this recipe is that you do have to let it set in the fridge for it to actually set. So right now, if we were to dig right in, of course you could eat it, but it would be really fluffy. Leaving it in the fridge, it's gonna give you that texture of cheesecake where it's more dense and you can actually kind of scoop into it like a traditional cheesecake. So this is gonna go in, we're gonna let it set, and then once it's fully set, I'm gonna cut into it and show you the texture. All right guys, so I just got my little cheesecake out of the fridge. I let it set for about 20, 30 minutes, but the more you let it set, the denser it will get, like the more cheesecakey like texture it will get, okay? But even now, it's already set. It's gonna give you the cheesecake feel. It's just not gonna be as dense. So if you let it set overnight, then of course it's gonna be like little cheesecake dupe. But in this case, um, it is good enough. Okay, so you can eat it straight out of the container, but I wanna decorate it just to make it look Official. What? Guys, don't mess around. Do not even mess around. And then we have some dairy free whip, which this is not dairy free, so it doesn't matter. But this is what I have. This is what I buy for my drinks. I haven't learned how to make dairy free whipped cream. 
Maybe I should try it on the channel. How many of you guys are actually dairy-free? I have the actual container to make regular whipped cream, but not dairy-free. So I wanna make a clean version of dairy-free whipped cream is what I meant. So let me know how many of you guys would be interested in seeing that. So we have our little cheesecake. We are gonna top it with a little whippy whip. Beautiful. And put our little strawberry. What do you guys think, guys? What are we thinking here? Easiest cheesecake. <laughs> and the easiest part is the preparation of it. So I don't know if you guys have ever tried making regular cheesecake. It is still simple, but there's definitely a lot more steps. It's a lot more like, there's just a lot more to it. You also have to bake it. You have to let it set. It's just like a whole little mish. Um, if you guys have not tried my cheesecake here on the channel, it is one of my ultimate favorite desserts. It literally tastes like New York cheesecake. It's not a 90 second cheesecake, so it is gonna take some time, but guys, it is so worth it. And it, it's actually like a full cheesecake. You can freeze it, cut it up. Anyway, I'll leave that recipe linked in the description below. But today we are making the easiest, okay? The easiest cheesecake. All right, guys, when I think of cheesecake, I always picture strawberries or fruit, blueberries. So that's exactly what I went with here. I topped it with a little bit of whipped cream, some fresh blueberries and strawberries. So now we're just gonna dig right in. Look at that, guys. It is nice and dense and not like bad dense. I'm just saying like it's already set, which is exactly what you want for this cheesecake recipe. Look at that. I'm gonna do a little bit of strawberry, a little bit of whip. Oh man. And cheers. Mmm. Oh yeah. Creaminess. Mmm. The texture is it's not as creamy as a traditional cheesecake, but it tastes like cheesecake. It's like velvety, it's smooth, it's creamy. I guess the best way to describe it is like a traditional cheesecake, but just not as soft and creamy. Like there's, it's definitely more dense than like a traditional cheesecake. But guys, I'm telling you, this tastes like cheesecake. Like if you love cheesecake, it's 90 seconds, give it a try. You are going to love this. I think at this point, like this is just the perfect base for a cheesecake. If you love fresh fruit, then put, top it with fresh fruit. If you love peanut butter, you can mix in peanut butter, chocolate, chocolate chips, maybe even like a caramel swirl. Like guys, the possibilities are endless. Almost just think like cheesecake vibes, like cheesecake factory vibes. They have like every cheesecake known to man. Um, think of this as just the base. Like you could literally throw anything in there. You can top it with anything, throw nuts and syrups. I am just more of a traditional, like New York cheesecake type of person. So I of course went like very plain Jane with just some fresh fruit, but that's the way I personally like it. So it's the way I enjoy it the most. But if you enjoy it with a ton of toppings, guys go crazy. Like. On top of it just being so easy, it is so delicious. I cannot wait for you guys to try it. When you try it, come back, comment down below and let me and everybody else know what you think. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the recipe in the description below. Guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to turn your post notifications on so that you know every time I post a video. And we're almost at a million subscribers, so please share the channel with friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle or that you know are just trying to make healthier choices in their life. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.